First up, everyone, we have an update from the chief of the Knoxville Police Department on the effort to equip officers now with body cameras. Yeah, the push for body cams becoming front and center for city officials following a deadly August 26 KPD officer involved shooting, one that is still, by the way, under investigation. Chief Eve Thomas speaking at the police advisory and review committee meeting detailing the training and testing some officers will have to undergo to use the new technology. Well, WATE 6 on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel was at tonight's park meeting. She joins us now here in the studio with a recap. Elizabeth. Kristen, it is safe to say that this is something that is definitely moving forward. Chief Thomas told me tonight her goal is to eventually have everyone on patrol equipped with a body cam, but they're starting off with testing the technology. In fact, they'll have four officers testing body cams in the next few weeks. Another tool in transparency to show that if we are doing the right thing and if we're doing the wrong thing, we need to address that as well. Knoxville Police Chief Eve Thomas sharing the next steps in an effort to outfit officers with body cams, giving the update at a park public meeting Wednesday night. We have two body cameras that we have now that we are and we've been requested two more, so we'll have four officers testing those in the next few weeks. The push taking center stage following a fatal officer involved shooting in August. That badge is not a form of protection. The next day, demonstrators marched to the city council meeting, calling for body cameras and urging for more transparency and accountability. And it's clear it was still top of mind for some of those stepping up to the podium at Wednesday's meeting. Which we're still waiting answers um, for Philly feet. A resolution passed passed last month by city council, now paving the way to start exploring the cost of body cams. And what we're looking at is the different features on those body cameras and what we'd like to have, how expensive the storage will, call, will be, um, how expensive it will be to redact things that need to be redacted with those body cameras. For example, juveniles, um, we can't have kids' faces at schools. And the chief says they'll serve as a supplement to their in-car footage. To gain an additional tool and gain another point of view from, from you know, an officer's point of view and what they're pointed at and what the way they're facing just gives us an additional, it gives us, you know, more, a, a better way to show what's going on in, in the situation. Now, I also asked Chief Thomas about immediate next steps. She says that's getting a policy in place for using the test cameras and getting the officers trained on them. City Council's resolution asked for the cost and implementation of a body camera program by January 15th. Chief Thomas expects to have that information well before then. Bo. All right, Elizabeth, thank you very much. Meanwhile